Hi guys, thanks for watching. Um, today I have <laughs> a very old, way behind time candle day candle haul from Bath and Body Works. Um, I bought this stuff and then just shoved it in my um, room next to all my other candles that I've moved since I moved recently and then I just never got to filming it and so now here I am. I'm going to show you what I did do for candle day. I didn't post on Instagram or anything. I didn't really talk to anybody about it. Um, I had a lot going on around this time so I knew I wanted to go in and get some candles, use the coupons I had. I actually, I didn't use all the coupons and I wasn't super excited about it. I, there, there wasn't a lot that was coming out that was like candle day. They were candle day candles, you know, that get you all hyped up. And I love that time. I like the adrenaline. I don't mind the busy crowds. Um, I don't have super crazy lines because there are lots of stores around me. Um, and I didn't even go early. I went during the day. Um, so typically I go really early in the morning with my um, sister, but that's because it's on a um, Saturday, typically. Is that right? Anyway, so um, yeah, just because it was a several day event, I didn't feel the urgent need and because there wasn't anything I truly like desperately would, you know, be really sad if I missed out on. I just decided to go when I felt like going, which happened to be, I don't know what time it was, start. sometime midday. Anyway, um, I went to only one location and I think that's it. I think I went to one location. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I just went to one location. Let me check my receipts. I did three transactions. I think I had four or five coupons actually. And yes, I went to one specific mall. So I did use with the coupons. They were, I don't remember what they were. What, did, what was the coupon for? Uh, gosh, I don't remember. I, I don't even think it says on this receipt. I'm out of the loop. Anyway, the coupons were attached to another coupon that allowed you to get a free item. So I did, because I did three transactions, I picked out three items. So I'll show you those as well um, toward the end for people who only care about candles. I know it's like fun to watch everybody's candle day hauls like right around that time and then you lose interest. So I appreciate if you're even watching this at all. If you're just bored and you want to see someone's candle haul, you know, because there isn't a lot going on with Bath and Body Works at this moment, um, then feel free to check it out. So I wrote a little list, but really I just went in there and thought, let me just fill up my cart with ones that I find that I like. Um, but I did know that I wanted sweet cranberry pie and I wanted a couple of them. My sister bought some candles. Um, for, what am I trying to say here? She went and did her own thing with her neighbor and they went, I think really early in the morning and I asked her, if you can grab me a sweet cranberry pie, I want one in case they sell out. And so she grabbed me one. I still owe her for that. But I bought her some pretty cool gifts recently for no reason at all. So I think we're even. <clears throat> but anyway, I wanted this one. So this is tart cranberries, brown sugar, chopped walnuts, flaky pie crust with essential oils. I'm not going to say that when I say some descriptions. Or at least I say I'm not going to say that. Anyway, this is very similar to blueberry pie. When I first smelled it in the store, I thought mm, it's too similar to blueberry pie. But people say it is different than blueberry pie. I love blueberry pie. So if it's just a little bit tweaked, more tart, a different fruit, but still very that authentic bakery... Sorry if you hear weird alien noises. It's my cat, Tiger. He's chasing his little fuzzy ball. He likes these. In case you have cats, you can find these at Michael's in like the arts and crafts. They come in a big bag. There's multiple sizes, but this size is the size that he likes. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. There you go. Go on. He'll chase them around forever and um, howl. He's the, only, he's the only one that really, truly likes them and carries them around. Each cat has their own toy they prefer. Anyway, so, obviously, I am a bakery lover, blueberry pie lover, um, yeah, and I do think, maybe it's the bakery in this that, like, triggers that blueberry pie memory, you know, connection, but anyway, so, there's that one from her, and then when I went, I got two, I actually forgot that she got gotten one um I think I was just all like hyped up or whatever and so I'm just gonna set that 
there. I might need to make more room in a little bit. I tried to just zoom in. I'm only going to do like two, a row of two, I think. I might need to do three, actually. Is three too tall? We're going to deal with it. So there's that. And I also smelled the Mary Madeline cookie. I watched Bren's review of this and it says baked Madeline cookie, spiced almond, sweet orange with toasted coconut. And she said it reminded her of like an orange bakery. Or like the orange rolls. This totally smells like orange rolls. I love this scent. Mm, I have a feeling it's going to be light. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen a lot about it. If people really liked it or not. How successful it was. But I grabbed two of those and I really wished I'd grabbed more. I don't know why I didn't. I'm really annoyed with myself that I only grabbed two. I'll have to chop one up into melts and then burn the other one and see how it does. If it doesn't do well, I'll put it in my candle warmer, but mm, it smells so good. Seriously, why? I'm like looking around to see like maybe I bought another one or two or three. I don't know why I only bought two of those and three of the sweet cranberry pie. I'm disappointed in myself. I already said that though. Okay, and then I grabbed from that same collection. I'll set this up there too or the same type of packaging under the Christmas tree and um, I like Christmas tree scents I tend to like sweeter ones fresh balsam for me is super strong um, a good go-to but really strong and this is this is different this is nice for balsam juniper berries vanilla eggnog and sage leaves it just is sweeter with the juniper berries and vanilla eggnog whatever they use for those oils oh I'm sorry I don't it's not auto focusing. So that's a nice tree scent, winter scent. Um, I would burn it soon, like this winter, but it just it feels so holiday esque that I think I'd like to save that for next winter. Seems so far away though, like such a long time to wait. And then I brought um, these are all like ones I've had before. I didn't get anything super exciting, guys. I got two pomegranate lemonades. Um, I think this was an online only, so I don't know why this was in store. It says, juicy pomegranate, zesty lemons, sugar crystals. Um, I'm a little nervous about these wicks. I don't know about them. Which are the first wicks I really looked at, but... I like it. It's a fruity tart scent. I don't know. Fruity scents from Bath and Body Works like that are hit or miss. They could be um, that kerosene scent. So I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and then I grabbed a vanilla balsam, which is always good. My sister loves this, so I'm, I'm hesitant to keep it. I feel like I should give it to her, even though I'm sure she has enough. Oh, it's just good. It's just a toned down balsam scent. Balsam fir, frosted vanilla, snow capped pine needles. You get vanilla, you get balsam. These wicks are totally super thick. Those are the kind of wicks that I like would want, but I feel like these ones never really burn super well, so I don't know. Anyway, there's that. And then, I don't know why I have to like turn that for it to look straight when it's actually angled that way. It's, um, there must be something going on with my camera. And then I grabbed Tiki Beach because why not? This was like my filler one where if I found something else I'd take it out and then I'd put it back in or whatever. But Tiki Beach is always good. I don't even think I have a Tiki Beach candle. If I do it's probably an old classic one that I don't want to burn. But I really don't think I even own Tiki Beach. It was one of the first, like, summery scents I really liked. So it totally reminds me of, like, the beginning of my Bath and Body Works candle love obsession, whatever. And I also grabbed a marshmallow fireside, and it's just in the classic packaging. This one, I think... It's simple, and so I think I want to keep it for, like, a display candle. I have a lot of black, gray, and white in my house, but 
at the same time, it's just so boring that I'm kind of like, no, maybe I'll just burn through this one. Marshmallow Fireside's a classic. I don't think I need to really talk about that because everybody knows that scent. Okay, I moved us over so that we are a little bit more centered. And then I grabbed an Ice Vanilla Woods because it's also a really nice scent. Pretty blue color. I love this scent. Um, there, I think this was the only one of Ice Vanilla Woods, and that might have been the only vanilla balsam that I could find at the store. I know that this was the only Ice Vanilla Woods, so they were all pretty much sold out except that one. Um, and then the last one that I got is Vanilla Snowflake because, again, it's tried and true. And I thought it would look pretty with the um, cutouts. So, you know, I have a candle. I have Vanilla Balsam chopped up, Ice Vanilla Woods, Marshmallow Fireside, maybe a Tiki Beach chopped up. I'm not really sure. I'll chop up a cranberry pie and a Mary Madeline cookie. I do want to burn under the Christmas tree. But I do chop candles up as melts. And so I have vanilla snowflake, maybe one or two bags already. But I, I do really like this scent. This jar was made to be burned. So it will be burned. And uh, there's that. And then um, the freebies that I got uh, were a Sunset Glow shower gel. A Sunset Glow lotion. And then I got a Hot Springs Spa Moisturizing Body Lotion, which is eucalyptus, lemon, and cedarwood. So I'm hoping I like this scent because I couldn't really um, tell by like the, uh, whatever the display scent oil or whatever they had on display as the tester was. I grabbed that, but... Um, I don't know. I couldn't really tell. There was another woman that was like, oh, does that smell good? Does that smell good? And she was distracting me. So I'm just like, they all smell good, lady. Shut up. <laughs> and I like took off. Sorry. I, was, I wasn't actually like rude or anything, but I was just frazzled and um, ready to go at that point. So um, I grabbed all these things last. And so that's it. That's what I got for candle day. So nothing outrageous. I didn't do like a really crazy big haul. Um, that's still three transactions worth because the price is going up like your coupons just don't get you very many candles per transaction anymore so you know four per transaction where I think it used to be five or six maybe even more like I miss the days when you could get the candles and they were like four dollars and something cents each after your coupons Ugh. but then then I would buy way too many and um, I'm really going to try and be more conscious of what I'm buying and what I'm bringing in and what I'm burning and getting out. And um, I do want to burn more candles. So hopefully that will be a thing. And I don't just say that and not take action. And um, you guys will be accountable to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well. It's winter time, so it sucks. Uh, unless you're a winter lover, I am not. I'm noticing issues with my house in the winter with the windows and how cold it is that I'm not super happy with. So I'm dealing with that. And brr, it's just too cold to even go outside. It's like negative something today, I think. So anyway, I will talk to you in my next video. And uh, thanks for watching again. Have a great day. Bye.